Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box and 2018. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. Hey, gamers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show the channel. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate that as well. So, gamers, to be perfectly honest, to be just perfectly honest, I think my wife and Microsoft got together, and apparently I had done something wrong in December because January they loaded games with gold with two bad games to start off for my reviews. Now, gamers, I've already done uh, The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 3, which is just like screwing a porcupine. And now I've got to do it again and do uh, Tomb Raider. Now, y'all recognize Laura Crofter. Uh, this is back on the Xbox 360, in it which the artist thought it would be a good idea to create an adventure with big boobs, tight ass, and not real good gameplay. Uh, to be perfectly honest, the only thing that's really good about this is the storyline and the gunplay mechanics. Uh, maneuvering is kind of awkward. I can honestly say that Edios was smart. They took this, you know, game that they created, this crappy game and decided what they would do is build upon it for the next uh, Tomb Raider. Um, the adventures, uh, the Tomb Raider adventures, the newer ones on the Xbox One are absolutely amazing, but this is very, very cartoony. Um, it, it just feels awkward to play, and I didn't want, I don't want to get into the storyline really at all, um, because if you do decide to play this, the storyline is really great. Um, most likely, I will try to get through it and see it. You know, if I don't play it, I'll actually watch somebody else on YouTube who has done it, who can actually tolerate this game. Uh, but for me, um, this has been gaming insanity at its finest. When I have to review two games that I consider bad, oh man, I, I just sooner put my balls on a mallet and or balls on a um, anvil and hammer them with a wooden mallet. Um, this game was painful to review. Uh, the only, like I say, the only thing that was really cool about it was the gameplay mechanics, and you kind of know that uh, down the road, Edios is going to be smart about it. They're going to put together a really good uh, gaming trilogy because I know that they're working on a new Tomb Raider based off the uh, la the previous two. There, uh, the only downside that I have actually heard is that they're going to add multiplayer, which I just don't see the point in. But you know, the way of gaming, I guess. So gamers, tell me what you think. Do you like this uh, old Tomb Raider on the Xbox 360? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, you hit that like button. Now gamers, I want to wish y'all a happy new year. Happy gaming. Uh, from uh, those of us here at um, Xbox Beyond the Box, which is just basically me and my wife. And most of all gamers, um, you know, I want y'all to stay awesome. I'm out of here. Y'all have a, just a great, fantastic new, day, uh, new year there. <laughs> uh, catch you later gamers.